we gotta talk about something serious today. It's always happened, but it's happening even more now. Mexican cartels are recruiting children as young as 12 years old from Phoenix and Tucson to smuggle drugs and weapons. And they're not discriminating. White is the highest amount being arrested right now. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. An alarming trend is spreading along the U.S. southern border. Mexican cartels are now hiring American kids as young as 12 to smuggle drugs and weapons. Hey, what's up? My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi raza, mi familia, you already know what time it is. Subanse la suburban. Let's talk some education and get these kids to open their eyes. Recruited by the cartels to smuggle drugs, but it's happening even right here in the valley. Kids from all walks of life, all backgrounds, getting busted. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes went to the border near Nogales to find out why cartels are targeting valley children. Kids. 300 kids were caught alone this year. 36 children arrested at point of entry in 2018, 57 children in 2019. Easy money, you think you're cool, tough. I think the biggest thing is that a lot of these kids are trying to be cool because they think it's like the thing to do because like I said, we live in a country where we actually glamorize all this shit. We put it in movies. We've seen it in that Sicario movie where the kid actually wants to be a hitman. And they, they make it Hollywood, but let me tell you, it's not Hollywood. They're getting paid $500 to smuggle. I got paid 10,000 when I was doing it as a kid. And this is nothing new. I mean, this has been happening for years. I started in like 1996, but the thing is it's so easy to recruit people now because of social media. Social media is helping a lot of people get recruited to do this. Kids are bringing weapons over to Mexico from Arizona. They're getting up to three and a half years. Conviction of felony at, a, at the age of 14 is no bueno, it's no good. Mexican-American kids in the U.S., you know, using their citizenship to smuggle. It's not good. It's not good. And this is why I tell you that I share, I share my stories for a reason. The Border Patrol caught a teenager boy smuggling meth into the U.S. in the early months of this year. He was actually caught with 40 kilos of meth inside his door panels inside his car. And he was getting paid 500 bucks. Come on. Do the math. If you know what that's worth, you're getting chump change and you're getting robbed. And then the bad thing is, is that then you get caught and they still want their money. They still want to get paid. Now you're putting your family at risk and you're putting everybody at risk. Why? This is what I mean, guys. I was 16 when I got into the game, but it wasn't because I was poor. Well, I was technically poor. <laughs> it was more because I wanted to make a name for myself on the streets of Chicago. And I wanted to be, I guess you could say, a drug dealer, big time. I wanted to be, you know, the, the man that had the power and, and, and everything. But, you know, there's a, other, there's a other side to that coin. And this is what I mean is that for the next couple of years where I thought that that's all I was gonna know how to do, I spent 17 years incarcerated and I still came out without nothing. So you tell me, how much is $500 really gonna last you? And is $500 worth you spending three and a half years in prison? Or let me put it better, is $500 worth your life? 
because now you're messing with people that don't mess around don't play games and don't joke around don't think that you're gonna ca get caught and then you're gonna turn around and say who it was because now it's even worse and like I said, the majority of the kids getting caught now are actually white. They do it because they think it's cool, um, but they also do it because of the easy money. Agent Regalado warns students that cartel recruitment happens through social media, video games, and word of mouth. Not only are drugs coming into the U.S., but children are bringing weapons to cartels in Mexico. The minimum sentence is 3.5 years, and obviously prosecuting them as adults means that they would be convicted felons for the rest of their lives. It's a problem. We know it's there. We, we're trying to, to mitigate that issue through education and prevention. The Team Kids program is hoping to reach schools across the entire state and eventually reach out to those... All I'm saying is, yes, I understand that you might want those sneakers. Yes, I understand that you want, might want that PlayStation 5 that just came out. Was it today or yesterday? I understand that. Those shoes, the jewelry, the pants. I understand, but I always say, if you live hard, life is easy. If you live easy, life is hard. You know, I, I got my first job at 15 washing dishes, and I actually made a pretty decent amount of money. If I would have just stuck to that, I would have saved myself a lot of years of pain and suffering, because trust me, all those movies, just show the nice cars, the nice jewelry, the nice shoes, everything. But they don't show the max prisons where they send you to, where people are getting stabbed up for a piece of chicken, where people are getting stabbed up for 10 bucks, a soup. They don't show none of that stuff because they want you to believe that that's, it's easy and it's not. The price is really high what you're paying for, for what you're doing. But remember, there's always a consequence to every decision that you make. This is why I share my story. It's not to glamorize the gangs. It's not to glamorize that I was working with a family in Mexico. It's not to glamorize that I was in prison or that I, that I was a tough guy, because I wasn't. I was a lost kid trying to find myself. And this is why my videos are so important now. Because if I could just save one kid from making that decision that I made, you know, 30 years ago, then I did something. My name's JC, I am Ron Strong. Please, please, don't do nothing stupid. Don't do nothing stupid. Stay your ass out of jail. Stay away from having any kind of felony in your record. It will haunt you to the day that you die. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage. And you only have one life to live. But if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.